Okay, welcome back. Uh, and in this video about the uh, Apprentice S15E ready to fly airplane, we're going to put the nose gear on. So we already took the prop off in the previous video, and now we need to take the uh, cowl off so we can get to where the nose gear goes. So these are tiny little screws. I got tiny little screwdrivers. I got actually several screwdrivers in case they don't actually work that well. Let's see. That one's a little loose. All right. Sometimes these uh, have a more blunt end on it, and it will make it easier to take these screws out. Yep, that's good. Okay. Now, I do this over a table with a, with a um, towel down on it, because if these bounce on a hard table, they bounce on the floor, and they disappear forever. I don't know where they go, but they're on the floor somewhere, and I never find them. So I do this over a towel. over and I do the last one I'm also catching it um, in my hand as I pull it off okay so there's the cowl um, they break easily so if you hit the ground with one of them be prepared to buy a new one okay so this little thing right here is what the um, nose gear is going to go in and you can see that just hanging loose in here it's on a z-bend so it's not going to come off all right um, but what you have to do now I'm going to use a little bit larger screwdriver here to loosen this sum okay now that screw in this arm this, this is called a, a nose wheel steering arm this has a brass um, uh, piece inside, and the, that screw is going into brass, which is better than plastic, by the way. You have to understand, that's better than plastic. Um, so, next thing is to find the flat. Okay, so right here is the flat side of the, um, there's a little flat spot on this shaft of, uh, of the gear. So you need to make sure when you put this in, that flat side is facing towards you, and then it should go easily, hopefully easily, in that brass thing. And if you have unscrewed enough, I may not have. I'm going to unscrew it just a little bit more. So it should go past that screw and all the way down. Okay. And then the flat should be forward, and you should see right down here the end of this um, gear should be the little black thing right there is the end of the gear. That's clear, so you should be able to see it all, get it all the way down. Now that that's all the way down, I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can, and then tighten it on the flat. Now. If it tightens down on the flat, that's all you really need. Yeah, that's not working too well. Let's see here. Try it with my right hand here. Okay, that's better. Um, I'm actually going to get a larger screwdriver here because I think I should get a, a little tighter. I got a little bit larger screwdriver and I'm going to tighten this down a whole lot. Now, I notice that when I do this tightening, it's the flat is on, and that nose isn't, isn't quite straight enough for me. So we're going to have to, um, when we go to put the um, tails on, tail on and the um, rudder, um, this is probably going to have to be, the clevis inside may have to be adjusted to get this straight, okay? And so that's good 
I don't want that to come off. Because that's metal on metal, I could use Loctite. I don't think I will in this case. Uh, I think the brass is going to be good enough. All right, so that's in place. Now, you might notice that this motor looks crooked. It looks down and away. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to be. Don't worry about it. Uh, airplanes need to have their motors not facing straight ahead, but down and away. Um, all right, so now I'll put the cowl back on, but I won't put the... Um, okay, yeah, that's good and tight. Uh, I'll put the cowl back on, right side up, upside down. Uh, let's see here, how about like that? Now, one of the things I like to get is a good pair of tweezers to help make sure that I don't drop one of these tiny little screws as I screw it back on. I'm going to put the screw in a tweezer like that. That way I can hold it in place easily. Find the hole, set it in there like that, grab the screwdriver, and just start it in the hole. I'm not going to tighten it because I want to get all three started first. Okay, get this one in front of me, find a second screw. This is kind of tweezer that you can don't have to hold it. It's got it's sort of spring-loaded tweezer that uh, sort of holds itself. I will put that in the hole. Okay. Okay. Start it. And I'll tighten them all up when I'm done here. Okay, that one's now tight. That one's tight. That's tight. Okay, so now nose gear is on. It's probably a little crooked, but later on, after we get the tail on, we'll adjust this clevis to um, make it where it's supposed to be. Okay, uh, nose gear successfully installed. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.